Once upon a time, there was a poor miller who had just one daughter. She was very beautiful, and he told many people about her. One day, the king rode through the village. The miller desperately wanted to impress the king. Your Highness, my daughter is very pretty and smart, he said. But the king took no notice. She can also spin straw into gold, the miller lied. Your daughter must be very clever. Bring her to the palace tomorrow so I can see for myself, demanded the king. The miller didn't dare disobey the king, so the next day he brought his daughter to the palace. The king led the girl into a room filled with straw. On the floor stood a little stool and a spinning wheel. Spin this straw into gold by tomorrow morning, or you'll be thrown into the dungeon, said the king. Then he left the room and locked the door. The poor miller's daughter sat down on the stool and gazed at all the straw around her. She wept bitterly at the impossible task before her. All of a sudden, the door sprang open and in came the strangest little man she had ever seen. Why are you crying? he asked. I have to spin all this straw into gold before the morning, but I don't know how, replied the little girl. If you give me your pretty necklace, I will spin the straw into gold, said the strange little man. Oh, thank you, gasped the girl, wiping away her tears and handing over her necklace. The little man sat down in front of the spinning wheel and set to work. All night long, the little man spun, and by the morning, the room was filled with reels of gold. And just as suddenly as he had appeared, the strange man disappeared. When the king arrived, he was astonished to see so much gold. You have done very well, he said. But I wonder if you can do the same thing again. He took the miller's daughter to a much bigger room. It, too, was filled with straw. Spin this straw into gold by tomorrow morning, or you'll be thrown into the dungeon, said the king. And once more, he locked the girl in the room. The miller's daughter was very frightened. The strange little man appeared before her again. Don't cry, he said. Give me your shiny ring and I will spin this straw into gold. She handed over her ring gratefully and the little man set to work. Once again, all the straw was turned into gold. The king wanted to try one more time. If you can do this again, you shall be my queen, said the king. The poor miller's daughter wept even more bitterly this time when the king left. Why are you crying, said the little man, appearing for the third time. You know that I will help you. But I have nothing left to give you, sobbed the girl. If you become queen, replied the little man, you can give me your firstborn child. The desperate miller's daughter agreed to the man's request, and once again, he spun all the straw into gold. The king was so delighted when he saw all the gold that he kept his promise and married the miller's daughter. The new queen was very happy and soon forgot all about the promise she had made to the strange little man who saved her from the dungeon. A year later, the king and queen had a beautiful baby boy. Late one night, the little man appeared in the queen's bedroom as she watched over her sleeping baby. I'm here for your baby, he said, just as you promised. The queen was horrified. Oh, please, take all my jewels and money instead, she begged, not my son. No, replied the little man. You made a promise but I will give you three days. If in that time you can guess my name, then you will keep your baby. 
the desperate queen agreed. The next day, she sent messengers all over the kingdom to collect all the boys' names they could find. That night, the strange man appeared again, and the queen read out all the names she had gathered. But after each name, he just laughed. The next day, the queen sent her messengers out to find even more names, and that night she read out the new names again. But the queen's guesses were wrong. On the third day, the poor queen was in despair. It was getting late by the time her messenger had returned. Your Highness, I haven't found any new names, he said, but as I was returning through the forest, I saw a little man leaping and dancing around a fire, singing a song. It went like this. The queen will never win my game, for Rumpelstiltskin is my name. The queen was overjoyed. When the little man appeared that night, the queen said, Are you perhaps called Rumpelstiltskin? The little man was furious. He stamped his foot so hard it went through the floor. Then, pulling on his leg until he was free, he stomped out of the room and was never seen or heard from again. And the king and queen and their son lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs>